Now that the demise of the dollar is absolutely inevitable, it is happening. And so many people, so many senators, so many financial institutions and traders believe that the dollar is about to go down a very bad spiral. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Chiara Ducasse and thank you for being here with me once again on the channel today. I truly appreciate every single one of you blessed and beautiful beings. Um, today we have just absolute beautiful magic here for us on the channel. I have no idea why that video did not get way more views than 25, um, but that's pretty sad. Well, nonetheless, guys, if you missed out on that video, I'm going to leave it pinned up in the cards for you because that video has got some crazy alpha, which will lead on to this video. So clearly you guys like a uh, pro, pro with a knife. I love that and appreciate that. And some of my other uh, videos here have been doing pretty well as well. I have some really cool stuff coming out for you today, tomorrow. Remember my live session tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. We are going to be talking about a number of really cool things, having a look at a few different trading options that might come about. I got stopped out of my say trade, but hey, so is the realities of life. So I hope you guys are subscribed to my Twitter page as well. I have been sharing some stuff with you. Uh, infrequently, but still been there and sharing stuff with you. Oh, wow. Am I not following? Based Brett? I'm sure I was. Uh, but hey, anyway, so let's go and have a look at a number of articles. And then we're going to have a look at some charts in between, etc. And balance these out with what is going on in the market. So let's go and start off today. China dumps 101.9 billion dollars in U.S. Treasuries in 12 months as the Fed governor dismisses imminent demise of the U.S. dollar. It's happening, whether you like it or not. The dollar is going to go bye-bye. Um, now, it's not going to happen overnight. Well, I don't know. Nobody has a bottle, but, I mean, a, a genie in a bottle. But all we know is that if 101 billion dollars of U.S. Treasury securities over the last 12 months have been blown away, okay? The Treasury Department says China cut its holdings from 869 billion in March last year to about 767 of this year. Now, they steadily dropped uh, from an all-time high of about 1.3 trillion, which was set in November. Guys, they're taking profits of U.S. Treasuries. And they're slowly exiting their position. Now, they would never be able to sell their whole $1.3 trillion all at once because it would cause a very, very scary, I mean, market collapse. I mean, that's why they've taken 12 months to sell it. So the new comes as China shifts away from the dollar in cross-border trade as the global economic alliance known as BRICS contemplates the launch of its digital competitor to the U.S. dollar. So... The dollar is going down. Now, if we're going to have a very beautiful squiz at the dollar, this is on the weekly time frame. Every time we have had the sell signal, we have dropped. Sell, drop, sell, drop, sell, drop, sell, drop, sell. This candle was the sell. So I believe we could be seeing a very strong position for a sell at this point. Excuse me. Uh, a sell at this point. Uh, so, yeah, maybe the dollar flicks back up here, but unlikely. Um, and then it's probably going to do something like this. Something like that. Bounce off of this level, fiddle around here, maybe retest up there, you know. It's not going to go down like this. Although it did over here, okay, which was very interesting. So there was a lot of facts that was busy happening around that point and that was the point at where we saw all of the bitcoin charts and everything also start to collapse right so i don't know what the dollar is going to do okay but this is my presumption of what it does now based on my previous um my previous charting i think this is the target guys i think this is the target down here at about 89.90 i think that will be the target for the dollar but look at the support very strong support, might I say, because 
There is support above there, support above there, there's support there, support there. So we actually have to find a way to break through this, okay? And then if it doesn't hold support on this upwards sloping trend, then we probably come down to this level here. So who knows? What do you guys think the dollar is going to do? Let me know uh, your thoughts. Hit me with a target of the dollar because if we do break that level of the dollar, the next level down on the dollar is actually about 79.80. So it's quite a way down, guys. And it's not impossible, okay? It's absolutely not impossible. And the reason I'm just leaving my UT bots on here is because I have a number of things that I want to share with you. So let's move on here from the dollar because now we can see that the dollar is in its demise. Not only that, we're also seeing massive transitions happening in crypto. And that's why my channel has been growing. That's why you guys have been following me. That's why we have been making money together. And that's why you continue to enjoy my beautiful videos that I share with you guys. So hackers are targeting by 1,500 banks in their custom and their customers in a push to drain accounts across 60 countries. Okay, that's a massive amount of banks, guys. Considering that, considering that, I mean, that's in 60 countries on top of it. Could your country be one of it? The US is probably one. South Africa could be one, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised, especially considering we've just recently had elections um, here in South Africa, which has caused quite a stir up in the um, news here, you can see that the ANC has tremendously lost support here from majority and uh, DA has been rising. So the ANC is on a decline. Um, and then this party here apparently just came up out of nowhere from a whole bunch of who knows who. I don't know, guys. I don't follow that stuff. I don't follow politics. I just I listen and I keep an ear out so that I can hear what's going on. But I don't follow that stuff. It means zero squat to me at all. It means nothing to me. It, all I need to know is, is, do I take my money and put it somewhere else to make more money? That's all I care about. And if you enjoy that, then that's why you are with me on this channel. So, so some, show some beautiful love there for the commitment to you guys to continually give you absolute alpha content. So now I'd love to show you. This is very powerful because essentially, the way to push this is to drain money from bank accounts. Now, if you're about to drain money from bank accounts, okay, there you go, there you go. And notably, the South African revenue serve. I wouldn't be, I told you, I wouldn't be surprised about South Africa because South Africa, I can tell you something, guys, is one of the countries in the world that you can get away with a tremendous amount by passing brown envelopes across the table. Now, you didn't hear that from me, but uh, really, the, fact, the fact of the matter is, is that South African government, there has just been crooks in there nonstop. And I will call that out. I'm not afraid to call that out to the people that are destroying our nations. Governments and politics destroy nations. Break down the word politics, poly, Many ticks, blood sucking, freaking parasitical creatures. Okay, so that's what I see these people as. And guys, you are a you right now watching this video, you are a sovereign being. You're not part of them. They're not you, you're not them. You are a sovereign being. And the more choices you make to make your life and your family's life better the better life you will live because you don't want to be one of these, you know, in the system here that gets, you know, their money drained. Like you're hard working for your money. Why would you want it to get drained by banks that are lacking the security to essentially run a system? But guys, I, I, I just want to say to you watching this video that I believe personally that this is actually a very good thing for uh, crypto, and I'm going to say this because I believe that the fact that we're seeing this shows us that crypto is the number one asset in the world. And why is that? Because it's number one decentralized. It's got smart contract controls. There's no third party people necessarily involved if it's truly decentralized. It is run by communities. 
and decentralized node systems, which means that yourself and myself together, you and I are going to actually make a ton of money. Okay. Now, the most beautiful thing about that is that we don't need to use a bank. You and I don't need to use a bank if we know how to use crypto. So why don't we use crypto? And if you want to know more about how to use crypto, well, then come over and check my channel out, you beautiful beast. Surely you're watching this and you are subscribing because you're enjoying this. You're here because you're enjoying this. So share some love with the channel. Now, one of the coolest things that you need to know um, is that no new retail investors are joining the crypto market, says Top Trader. But, but we shall see about that in a moment. So Flow Horse is talking about this. I, I just want to share this with you very quickly. No new retail investors are entering the market despite the meme coin frenzy, which re represents only a fraction of total market volumes and is more of a buzz on crypto Twitter than a significant trend. For new retail investors to come, we need much higher prices in large cap, easily accessible pairs, simply pushing on-chain assets up 10,000% does not attract retail investors, just as random pink sheet stocks doing the same doesn't get people putting uh, punting on Robin Hood or make the news. We need big and easily accessible names moving significantly. And for that reason, I think Bitcoin probably needs to break 100K for people to take notice again. Somewhat, I kind of agree with that to a degree. But once we break the 75K level, guys, Bitcoin goes back into price discovery, which means that if you have been, you, yes, you watching this, have been listening and following my channel correctly and taking small bite-sized chunks, okay, you would be making tons of money with me on this channel, okay? So... If you are making money with me, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know if you are making money with me. And because of my channel, you know, obviously your comments, your beautiful comments actually help to the build the algorithm of my channel. So I would truly appreciate your specific love. You are a very special soul. So, Mr. President Biden, if you are if you are watching this, my beautiful friends and uh you are sitting in the us well guess what mr biden just vetoes the bill that would have eliminated the controversial sec crypto policy wow wow what a change from mr b eh so but they say what they say and they're busy doing a little bit of things but that means nothing guys that means nothing because once they're back in power what are they going to do you need to know that you are the sovereign being. And by holding crypto, you are taking advantage of a technology that is going to replace the current global financial, technological, um, trade, supply, or the entire system will become a crypto digital blockchain managed system, ecosystem. So, the SAB 121 reflects considered technical SEC staff views regarding the accounting obligations of certain firms that safeguard crypto assets. By virtue of invoking the Congressional Review Act, this Republican-led resolution would inappropriately constrain the SEC's ability to set forth appropriate guardrails and address the future issues. Now, there is one thing that you need to know, is that there is the CFTC, uh, CFTC, and the SEC. The SEC are the hardcore regulators, and that's where securities fit under. Bitcoin and Ethereum are no longer considered as securities, and therefore they fall under the CFTC and any other crypto assets that will be coming into the space with potential ETF launches, which I'm going to share with you an imminence of a couple. We will see what happens. Now, you can see that I'm not showing you market cap today. I'm not showing you any of the fear and greed index. Nothing, guys, because despite seeing $2 billion come into the ETF flows, what the freaking heck happened here? Well, ha, very, very simple. And I don't even need to read the article here for you. The Mt. Gox coin movements, okay, guys, there's already a limited supply of Bitcoin on the market, okay? And if you think about it, over the last few months, 
we have seen all of the spot ETFs in the US, okay, absorb as much of the, they've dried up the OTCs. So where is the Bitcoin coming from? Well, guess what? Isn't it ironically perfectly timed that uh, Mount Gox and we have Celsius, I'm sure, coming up soon, sometime, whether it's now or in five, 10 years, like Mount Gox was, we're a lot further ahead in advancement, regulatory, and all kinds of things that would just make it instant that the people get their money back. Now, Mount Gox is busy distributing their assets, okay, their Bitcoin, okay, which has been kind of making Bitcoin like slow. But that's okay, because while Bitcoin has been chopping sideways, While Bitcoin has been chopping sideways, okay, on our very incredible UTBOTS alert signal, last week we had a buy signal, okay. We also have the um, MACD pulling and bouncing. These are both bouncing. It's found support. It broke through. It's found support. This, this candle is busy retesting, guys. I don't know about you, even though we have a little bit of a slope here, like, man, even if we retest off of this area here, okay, like something like this, okay, whoop the freaking do. What is that? What is that, guys? That is like a, what, a 3%, 4% down? Wow. Although, I do want to say that if Bitcoin does go down like that, it's very likely going to pull the altcoins down with it by like 20, 30, 40%, okay? I would usually say where, you know, times, if Bitcoin moves 1%, altcoins drop 10%, okay? If Bitcoin, for every 1% Bitcoin drops, altcoins move about 10% down. So imagine if Bitcoin had a 30% move down, altcoins get absolutely obliterated, okay? So there's a few things that I want to share with you before we, uh, before we look to carry on here. So now that we've found out why Bitcoin is just hovering, chilling, sitting sideways, you know, absolutely not doing anything at the moment, literally is just preparing itself for its next stage of launch. Because where is it finding support? It's finding support on the previous all-time freaking high, guys. Come on, give Bitcoin a chance. Like, Stop moaning. Yes, it's been sitting choppy since the 4th of March. Since the 4th of March. That's nearly three. On Tuesday, it'll be three months of sideways consolidation. That is boring AF. But as I always tell you, remember what happens after every single halving day. We have specific energy, specific times where you have your, your Bitcoin, okay, as I continue to share with you, your Bitcoin takes its time. Look at this. This was 13 June to September before the rally started. We're right here at this point, getting ready to continue to make an absolute explosion. Ah, well, guess what? You did the same thing here, guys. It fell for how long? Boom, and then it fell all the way again. I mean, geez, from 8th of June to guess what? September once again. Now we're in the same place. Okay, except right now we have, we're seeing the ribbon starting to really pound up open, but we have not even yet seen the true strength of what we're about to see unfolding here. Now, looking at Bitcoin dominance, before I carry on on, the other charts, we can now see why the Bitcoin market has been going a little bit slow. But if we look at Bitcoin dominance, if we look at Bitcoin dominance, you can see that also every single time we have had a sell, 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 sell around the top downward sloping resistance, okay, we have had the pressure of the Bitcoin dropping. 
Now, uh, this is looking very much like the halving. After each halving, it does drop. The dominance drops. It doesn't mean Bitcoin drops. It means the dominance is dropping. And Shoska Buskas, guys, not only that, Bitcoin is on a trajectory for a massive move to the upside. If you recall here, my target, okay, is at about what nine, about 120,000 more or less out of this cup and handle breakout pattern. 120K out of there. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, show some love. And yeah, if you specifically want to know more, well, then let's go and have a look at this because what I'm about to show you is going to blow your mind out the water. Now, Bitcoin to be worth 100 ounces of gold, says the veteran trader Peter Brunt. But before I go on to that, I want to share with you, because of the demise of the dollar, okay, all assets against the dollar will continue to rise. All right. Now, that is including gold, silver, crypto, uh, oil, all kinds of things here that might happen. And let's remember, we haven't even experienced the interest rate. Um, uh, decreases. We haven't even experienced any of that. The crypto market is like just getting ready to, it's stabilizing. It's stabilizing. So since where? Since also the 4th of March, since the 4th of March, guys, it's three months. We have been in a consolidation phase. Now, the longer we consolidate, the higher the move. So I'm okay for this to sit around and play around here and do this like I drew it here for you on this chart, just to go very slowly. Look how long ago I drew my arrows there for you guys that we would smash up here, bounce there, bounce there, sideways. Look, we're currently going sideways at the level I said so. So not only that, but on our total two, which, okay, so that total three was just altcoins, excluding Ethereum and Bitcoin. This is total three which is about to rip it, okay? Total three, uh, sorry, total two, uh, which has now got a buy signal plus a bounce off of the ribbon. Guys, look what happens when you get a bounce off of the ribbon with a buy signal. Look at the insane moves that come into the space. And that's why I said, look at this, we've broken out on the crypto two market cap. It is now officially inevitable. And I actually want to pull my RSI on here for you. Let's pull on my RSI for you guys as well. Okay. Because uh, let's get the, let's get the stochastic RSI out. All right. Let's get the stochastic RSI. Look at that. Bam. Okay. So MACD getting ready, blue line getting ready to find support on red line as sell pressure diminishes in this zone um, and volume starts to increase. We have the blue line on stochastic RSI crossing over, pulling up, guys. Look what happens when it crosses over at the bottom. We have these major, major rallies. Now, if we were to do something quite similar to that, Okay, from down there to there, look at what the next move would be out of this zone. You guys, you're on a mad trajectory. Look at my zones, but I don't think it's going to do that. I honestly think that it's going to have a bounce, just like I said here, boom, okay, and then go up. Because, sure, there's going to be a ton of resistance. And now, one of the most important things that I want to show you is that this gold chart, the reason why I went there is to show you this gold chart. Woo! This is on the monthly time frame, okay? Have a look at this rounding of this, um, uh, the PMO here. Okay, look at that rounding, price moving oscillator. So this is literally about to go and do that, okay? Which means that, we are about to see this thing collapse even further. Now, in fact, let's leave that on. I'm going to leave that on there for you guys. Now, not only that, we have the MACD here, which is also very over 
heated here and essentially you can look to also come back down. Now, this here, and the UT bots have given us the sell signal, okay, and might I just say it doesn't have the UT bot sell signal anywhere else, but this is gold versus Bitcoin. Gold is going down versus Bitcoin. You can now get five point, uh, where are we? 3.4, you can get 3,400 and, uh, sorry, you can get 3.4 grams of gold for one Bitcoin. No, the other way around, sorry. The other way around. It's going to cost you 0 0.03 Bitcoin. A, a gold to have that much Bitcoin. So guys, uh, all I'm just trying to say to you here is I've been showing you, this is a sell signal here. Boom, smash, we're selling. We're breaking down. We're going to hit a retest on this EMA ribbon to continue down. Then we're going to continue to take the knock here and then continue to go there and then continue. Guys, it's going to diminish. Even if we are actually seeing gold's chart pump okay because it's very interesting right now we've actually had a double sell signal on gold here so could we need to retest back down here i don't know it's a possibility but ethereum got um bitcoin guys this for me i think is a very 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 strong move to tell us that bitcoin is the king of assets gold cannot even compete and if mr peter schiff could literally come and look at this chart, he would actually realize, guys, I want to show you this now because look how scary that chart is, eh? And I keep going and I keep going. Look at this. Oops. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Back here in 2009, over here, Okay, it was 131.7 thousand Bitcoin, okay, for one troy ounce of gold. Then in 2023, it was 0.07 Bitcoin for one troy ounce of gold. Now, that is a total valuation erosion. And this chart was done in 2023, by the way. I haven't spoken about this chart properly in 2024. I've mentioned it, but I haven't spoken about it. Now, which asset do you believe is the best? My friend, you watching this right now, which asset do you believe is the best? Bitcoin or gold? Let me know down in the comments below. So um, that's a 1.839128x value erosion against Bitcoin. Okay. Look at this. It's the only sell signal in this entire history here. Okay. And yes, UT bots may be uh, fresh, okay, as an indicator. But that is the only sell signal. There's no buy signal. Nobody's telling us to buy gold over Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king of assets. Look at this freaking move, guys. I don't think you understand that move is massive. 131,000, okay, percent. Literally, gold has lost 100% of its value against Bitcoin. So unfortunately, gold is in this instance, it's 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 like the dollar. It's not gold is not going to be demised. Make no mistake. That's not what I'm saying. But gold against the gold against Bitcoin is dead. It's dead. Mr. Peter Schiff, I'm sorry, but it is just what it is. That doesn't mean I don't own gold. I do own gold. I have gold. I have silver, guys. Physical bullion. Okay. But I'm certainly not playing with the paper assets here now if you guys have enjoyed that if you are enjoying this i hope you are enjoying this i have a few more things that i want to share with you because even though we're currently at this even though we're currently at this 100 troy ounce okay um brand btc would fluctuate over the next 12 to 18 months before finally surging 30 percent against uh, against gold so if we had to 230% gain against gold. Okay, let's go and see what that is from where we currently are. 
look, I actually have to do this for you guys. This is, I mean, if you appreciate this, if you appreciate this, then show some love. Show some love. I want to show you what 230% from today's current price looks like over the next 18 months. Okay, let's pull this down. Okay, boom. 230%. There you go. Takes us down to there. Over the next 18 months. So call it times 7, 7 times 10. So times 100 is 700 days. Yeah, so let's call it about there. So there you go, guys. No, that's too far. Sorry. There you go. Somewhere around that, sorry, because this is the monthly, is going to bring us down to around this level. And look where that is. That takes us down to minus 0 0.0455 here on the right-hand side, as you guys can see, which means that there is now a complete negative value. In other words, it's not worth holding gold anymore. It's worth holding Bitcoin. And guys, that is very simply because Bitcoin is limited in its supply and gold is not. Okay. Now, with that being said, we have the Ripple CEO. So we have the ETH ETF. We have the Ripple CEO saying that the XRP ETF is absolutely inevitable and uh, is going to happen. We also have potentially the Solana and some of the other crypto ETFs come, potentially going to become spot ETFs, which means that institutional money and institutional flow is going to flow like crazy. Now, I just wanted to share one or two things that I haven't really shared here with you guys. Um, but basically, $300 million of Bitcoin was improperly moved from a Japanese exchange. Uh, in other words, it was hacked. Uh, Senator Cynthia Luminous says it's time for a president that understands how important Bitcoin is for America's future. You can see why it is for the whole world, according to what it is that I've just shown you. And you think America is going to lose the opportunity at maintaining the highest value against the rest of the world? No, guys. No, 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 no. Justin, Senate, uh, Senator Ted Cruz says, I just bought three Bitcoin miners that has just started hashing today. I'm proud to join the ranks of the techs and Bitcoin miners. Now, last couple of things is the US spot ETFs see the longest inflow streak since February. Okay. Um, even though we have had a con like a consolidation phase in the chart, okay, we have had, okay, the strongest ETF inflow since February, which was all the way down here. This was the flow. But why aren't we pumping like this? Well, we are. There's our first candle, which looks like that. There's our first candle. We are getting ready to make our next shift up. Once the spot ET, uh, ETH ETFs are launched in the next uh, two, three weeks, who knows, we are going to see some serious movement flow in. Now, the ETF assets under management. Well, guess what? Six Bitcoin derivatives ETF. Nobody gives rocks about the Bitcoin derivatives. Yes, we can trade it and make some money with it. Nobody gives rocks about the gold ETFs either, like I've just said to you. And certainly nobody gives rocks about the multi-assets and real estate, uh, real asset ETFs. Nobody gives rocks about them. All the ETFs combine, okay, and Bitcoin is making headlines. Check this freaking thing out here, where even though GBTC has, you know, been selling, look at the equal, if not more, ETF inflow funds for Bitcoin rather than the outflow of funds, which leads me on to just sharing my link down with you. If you got, if you specifically want to make some money with me, come trade with me, then hit my Bybit link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. Um, oh, we got to log in here now again. Okay, I'll log in later, guys. But um, So I can't show you my trades now. But guys, look at this. We're just... We're getting ready. We're ready. We're poising, poising for a massive breakout to the upside. Even if we retest the bottom zone here back at 59, 60K, guys, just, just accumulate more on the way down because you can see with conviction that the entire total and total two and total three and total two market cap are absolutely and in, inevitably just going up. It told us to sell there. It's telling 
on the total three. Okay, it hasn't told us to buy the total three yet. It's told us to buy the total the total two. Excuse me. Okay, which is all crypto assets. It's not just all the altcoins. So it's not yet altcoin season. Okay, but the moment the spot ETF gets approved. So much money, so, 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 so much money is going to flow into crypto. If you have enjoyed this, my special friend, my special viewer, I truly appreciate you watching this right now. Thank you for being part of this video. I truly appreciate you very much. And if you enjoyed the content, the time, the energy, and the effort that it took me to make this, show some love for the algorithm, please. Much love, and we'll see you on the next one, you beautiful souls. Take care and have a